Except for books that I've taught my high school seniors, there are very few books that I've gone back to read multiple times. But I just finished my third reading of Stephen King's On Writing, and man, it just never lets me down. Particularly if you're interested in writing, stick around on Punk Ride to figure out the top five reasons of why this is a golden read. I've read a lot of Stephen King. In fact, when I was a kid, he was one of the most prolific authors that I picked up, and he was always producing something. But I have to admit that not everything he writes I love. Regardless of your opinion of Stephen King, you have to admire the amount of sheer quantity that he produces. How the hell does he do that? His book on writing gives a little bit of insight of why he can produce so much and how he can be so productive in his storytelling. And there are two books, including this one, and I love Anne Lamont's Bird by Bird, also a fantastic read for aspiring writers to get a sense of what it's like to get inside of the mind of, of someone who can be so successful in their craft. And what makes them so good at what they do? It's not just the prose, much of it comes down to habit, which is why I pulled the top five aspects of the book that I find most effective for me in applying to my own writing. Do you Number one, close the door. I have my little studio, this is my YouTube studio, but it's also my writing studio where I can come and literally shut the door, I can shut the curtain, and I know that I'm in my isolated place. I cannot stress the importance of having a consistent place of writing where you can just shut the world out. Writing is one of those artistic endeavors where it happens here. Any kind of distractions in the outside world is gonna pull you from your rhythm and your flow. You find a place, close the door, and move yourself into your world. Bloop, 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 bloop. The second point that Stephen King is adamant about is about production. I struggle with this in terms of consistency, in terms of the amount that I can produce. His philosophy is about cranking out the first draft. Get it done. I think it's one of those tendencies that new writers in particular have to deal with is that you want things to come out perfectly. And the truth is, writing is an imperfect process. The most important thing is getting the story out. And getting the story out should not take as much time as the editing pro process or the crafting of the prose. He suggests putting a word limit every day that you sit down to write. His limit is 2,000 words. For me, that's too much. I can't do it, I don't have the time, I don't necessarily have the energy. I'm not a professional writer. A lot of you probably are not. You work, you've got family, you've got kids. Set a target that is manageable and achievable. Achievable is the point. You have to be able to make it every single day. I put a 500 word count if I get more, I'm totally stoked. If I don't, well, I try to make up for it in the afternoon, but I do have a specific goal and target. You should as well. The other aspect to that word count is how Stephen King writes. He is a pantser. He is one that creates a situation and lets the situation go with his story. According to the book, he doesn't try to plan it out too much. He just simply lets the characters develop and take it with them. He may have a specific idea about where he wants it to go, but he just kind of lets it unfold. There's value in that as I have also sat down and I try to sit down and, and just let the story take me, and I find that fluidity and in getting into it is a little bit more accessible. He brings up one specific example in The Stand, which is one of my favorite books. The Stand is a very long book, and he's got multiple characters in there. And he explains in On Writing the point where he gets to in his writing where he gets stuck. He doesn't know where to go. He doesn't know how to continue with the story and bring it to its finalization. It takes him a while to get through this, and he talks about walking and, and musing over it in the morning when he goes out for his daily routine. The point is, is that he sat down every day and he continued to write until he got out of it. And obviously he got out of it and it worked because the stand is great. <coughs> Point number three, tell the truth. It is what writing is all about. God, is it the hardest thing to do? What does that mean to tell the truth? To write honestly? You must write for yourself and nobody else. If you write for somebody else, you end up telling lies. Telling the truth is letting your own experiences in life come forth onto the piece of paper that you're writing on. It's being in your face. It's not disguising anything. 
tell the truth. Point number four, edit down. Anyone can sit down and write and produce. Look at this. These are all original things that I've produced. A lot of it sucks. You have to be able to tell yourself that just because you put it on a piece of paper doesn't mean that it belongs there. Edit down by about 10%. Anything you write, take a close examination in your editing process and say, do I really need this? Does it add clarity or does it just jumble up my story? The last point, and most importantly, which is a constant reminder about why you sit down in the morning or whenever your planned time is, and you try to write stories, again, that probably a lot of people will never read. You should never write for money. Writing for money is a distraction. You should write because of the joy of writing, of the, the experience and the buzz of falling into another world and letting it take you away and coming up with this product at the end that you've created that never existed in the world before. That is art in its purest and truest form. If you're distracted by any kind of monetary reward, well, you've lost the point. He makes a point in his book that about 10% of all writers that he know are actually successful writers and earn a living off of writing. Those are really bad percentages for all of us. Hence, you've got all kinds of YouTube channels of people trying to make it. I love the idea of independent publishing and there's more opportunity than before, but the truth is we're gonna have to work. So write because you love it. Well, that's it for today on Punk Right. If you're looking for some motivation, go back to Stephen King on writing. It is a great biography of where he's coming from and what it means to be this. Till then, keep on writing. Punk right.